Hey everybody, it's Salamander Plays. We are going through another level in our walkthrough of StarCraft Remastered, and we are on the Brood War Terran campaign, level six, Emperor's Flight. That was a really cool screenshot, actually. Captain, we have tracked the fugitives Minsk and Raynor to the devastated Protoss homeworld of Ire. Apparently, these two have taken shelter within a fortified Protoss encampment that lies at the base of a fully functional warp gate. I don't understand this. Why would the Protoss harbor these men? I have no idea, Gerard, but the Protoss aren't our only problem. Our sensors have identified multiple Zerg brutes surrounding the Protoss base. Presently, the brutes seem to be passive, but there's no telling what might set them off. Should the broods attack, we'd be hard-pressed to hold them at bay. I see. It is a risk we'll need to take. Mengsk represents a considerable threat to our agenda and must be eliminated. Captain, you will focus your attack against the Rebel Command Center in the middle of the Protoss encampment. That must be where Mengsk and Raynor are hiding. We will deploy our own Valkyrie frigates and tighten up our air defenses. Vice Admiral Stu Kraft and Lieutenant Duran will provide cover for your forces and ensure that no external threats interfere with your mission. Alrighty. Oh, this is such an awesome opening. I absolutely love Valks, and I love this introduction. Oh yeah, there is some RNG here. Sometimes you don't get all the mutas, and they will attack and kill these tanks, which is a huge bummer if you lose these tanks. And it looks like that is going to happen. That's unfortunate. Alright. Looks like we lost a tank. That really stinks. Oh well. It's like complete RNG if you um, if that happens or not. So what you can do is you can just uh, replay the the level from the beginning if you're like really bothered by losing those tanks. All right, let's go ahead and um, get another command center going. Let's get some of our what, what are we what are we doing here? I don't think we want either of these buildings. I'm not even sure we really want these uh, dropships either. Okay. We are way behind on food supply. So we're just going to build a ton of supply depots here. Okay, nice. So... I kind of don't remember the shape of this map. Actually, some of it's coming back to me now. I think there's like a Zerg at each corner and then Protoss in the top right corner. Okay, nice. So we got some decent food supply here. And why don't we start our SCV production, get our base saturated, and what do I want to do with this? Add-on complete. All right, we got Siege Mode. We got our Valkyries. And I don't think we're going to make any more Valkyries, actually. Okay. I'm having memories come back to me. I remember air units coming from this way. And so what we're going to do is park our Valkyries over here like so. And we're just going to put them on hold. And then that's going to be a defensive perimeter. We no longer need our drop ships, I believe. Let's keep our science vessels up here on hold over the cliffs. Oh, they're fully upgraded. Oh, nice. Okay, that is really, really good news. And I think the only thing we're going to make at this um, starport are more science vessels, which now that we have two, I'm not sure we're really going to need a whole lot. So we're in um, we're in really good shape actually. 
So the plan is we're just going to go... Alright, you got it, Stukov. Let's take a look here. If I remember correctly, this is the only... Okay, that's happening over there, not in my base. This is actually kind of cool to watch. Just watch the um, AIs kill each other. That helps my cause quite a lot, so thank you very much. All right, we're going to get two armories, and, and our plan is to just go all mech. Just straight up tanks and goliaths, maybe vultures, but I doubt even vultures, really. And so what we want to do is start our upgrades for our ground units. We're not even going to worry about getting our air upgrades. Um, Valkyries are a nice unit, but I just don't find much use for them on this particular map. In Terran versus Protoss, you always go mech. And there are some Zerg units on this map, obviously, but I think at the end of the day, it's just better to go to ma go mass mech and completely forget bio, completely forget air units. All you need is tanks and goliaths. And actually, now that I say that, why don't we get our marines over here? There's an entrance over here that we have to guard just in case, and... Oh, this guy's stuck. Here, let's get him out with a with a drop ship. Go ahead, Hang on. And I just realized I haven't fully saturated my gas, and I'm kind of irritated about that. Okay, let's get our academy as well. Yeah, I don't think I want my engineering bay, barracks, or drop ships. Oh, did I just see fish in the water? Wow. I've never noticed that before, and I've been playing StarCraft Remastered for a while. Okay, let's get another tank. And actually, now that I think about it, maybe I will take the Valkyries out. So there's a base somewhere around here, and I it might just be gas. I can't remember. But we're going to float one of our, SC, or, um, our command centers over there, and we're going to go take it. I think there are some Protoss units guarding it, though. And actually, maybe I will use the Valkyries just on this one occasion to clear, help clear it out. Wow, another SCV got stuck. Is that the same one? That's hilarious. Okay, let's lift off this command center. And we're going to screw up our perimeter of Valkyries for just a moment. We're going to put them on control group 2. Let's put our tanks on number 1. And actually, let's throw in our Goliath there as well. Let's keep making tanks. Okay, so the goal is to keep the Valkyries on hold. Okay, there's some guys right there. Okay, I think we're in range. Nice, nice. Oh, wow, that guy didn't even blink. Wow, that guy must have been uh, drunk or something. Okay, where are my Valks? A couple of air units here. So the Valkyries are just going to back up the, um, the tanks here. We're going to keep the Valks on hold. Let the tanks do their things. Okay, it looks like we've got quite a few units coming, so we're just going to wait. Man, this base is so oddly, oddly shaped here. Okay, I guess we will do this. We're getting a little cramped, but that's okay. Wow, these guys like didn't aggro at all and they had every reason to. Okay, great, great, great. 
And actually, I might just leave these tanks here. Yeah, okay, it's just a gas base, but we, we still want it because this is a very gas-heavy build. Classic gas-heavy build for Terran. And we got the best song going. Nice. Okay, we're going to build a few turrets here because we're probably eventually going to want to leave um, leave this area and we're going to need a little defense. Let's get uh, some comp sets going. Wow, are my... Uh, my tanks are really outranged there. Oh, here they come. All right, let's get our gas going. That's gonna help big time. Okay, nice. We can just walk our mech units right up here. Oh man, I really hope this guy isn't coming to storm me. Please do not storm me. Oh, kill him. Oh, the dream. Okay. Oh no! We're getting wrecked by some Zerglings here. Oof, the splash damage. It's rough. Alright, let's just keep reinforcing this area. Did I lose my SCV there? It looks like I did. Okay. We'll replenish. And actually, maybe we can even get a fourth SCV on this geyser after all. And I think we might finally be ready to get another factory. Oh, that guy got left behind. Sorry, bud. get our upgrades. I think we can. Alright, let's do Tank Goliath this time. And what we really want is this upgrade. We've been blowing all of our gas on units. Uh, we really needed them, but I think we're, we got enough units now, and now it's time to get some upgrades. Alright, let's get our Goliath upgrade. Keep building supply depots, and we're just going to slowly build up a nice army of tanks and goliaths. And then we're and then essentially what we're going to do is we're going to go up this ramp and we're just going to keep sieging, unsieging, moving up sieging all the way up to this command center and I just have to destroy the command center, yeah. So that that's the game plan. Okay, looks like we got a lot of stuff to destroy. Let's do three tanks. Oh, that's why this guy couldn't come out. Wow, Goliaths are so fat. Classic. And actually, I'm wondering if it is... Oh, yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think it is possible to do yet another factory because sometimes I'm going to be producing Goliaths. Yeah, let's um, let's do that. All right, we're going to make another batch of tanks. And then after that, I think we got to start making Goliaths. Oh, I need a science facility to, to keep getting my upgrades. Probably should have thought about that. How much is a science facility? 150, ouch. Well, I do want these upgrades, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. 
insufficient for speed gas. Identify target. Move it. Delighted to sir. Right, we got some. Alright, got an overlord, and then we have 12 tanks. I wonder if that overlord means that uh, the orange zerg is going to attack soon. Guess we're going to find out the hard way here. Nice. All coming out at the same time. Okay. Alright, we're going we're gonna to need a little more gas before we uh, get those next upgrades. And actually, we're just going to go for another batch of Goliaths. Okay. We got one control group of tanks and one control group of... One control, control group of Goliaths and tanks, so... Just try to get all of our units up on the cliff here. Okay, let's siege up. Let's get our Goliaths up here. Let's see if we can aggro some stuff our way before we um, unsiege and resiege. Nice. Okay, we're getting some good aggro here. Yeah, kill those shuttles. I say we just micro these two control groups to victory, and we'll just... Okay, we gotta siege up here. Oh nice, they're not gonna all flood in at the same time. They're just gonna trickle in, which is exactly what I want. We'll use the Goliaths to, to buff... To buffer the, uh, the tanks here. Okay. So, it looks like we'll do two of each here. reinforce our Goliath control groups. Let's just keep replenishing the 12 that we um, have in our control group. Okay. Looks like we've cleared out everything we need to. Oh man, this guy's hurting big time. You go to the middle of the group here. Okay, we're definitely going to need our Goliaths for this one. Just muscle through the tanks there, guys. Let's just surround our tanks and put them on hold. Where's my vessel? Come up here, give some vision. And let's just wait until we destroy some of these buildings here. Uh, let's go tank, tank, Goliath, Goliath. And I believe we can get our upgrades now. Yeah, we got plenty of resources, and I think that's the last supply depot we need. We'll be at 200. Alright, we still got our 12 Goliaths and our 12 tanks. Okay, looks like we're dealing with a battle here. Nothing we can't handle. We got plenty of uh, units there, so let's unsiege and move up and resiege. Let's just keep going. Your forces are under attack. Oh, the plague goo. I don't really need to destroy those buildings down there, but... I think my units will be happier if they're destroyed. Now, do I want to walk up this thing to get a height advantage? And I do not think that's necessary. Okay, but let's park our science vessel up there. Oh, oh, don't storm me. Oh, jeez, there's a lot of... Uh... Oh, where's my EMP? Okay, yeah, take that. That was a decent EMP. I got rid of the shield of the Archon and also nuked that um, High Templar's energy. In. That was That was decent. Oh, that's hilarious. He has to rebuild his uh, cybernetics score because I destroyed the one down here. He was right in the middle of the upgrade, too. Oh, didn't see that cannon there. Let's back up. 
Okay, let's ball up a little more here. Okay, we lost a tank, but I don't think we're in danger. Let's do tank, tank, goliath, goliath. Just gotta wait until you clear out stuff and then you can move up again. Oh, it's gonna be great when we destroy these gateways. Then blue will be producing less units to come and attack me with. Alright, awesome. Yeah, we're really um, close to the end here. But we're just going to be patient these last few uh, sieges here. Maybe just literally one more siege. Yeah, let's try and, let's try and get in range. Oh man, there's a, there's a cannon there. But we can just uh, kill it. Okay, we're going to siege up right there. Dude, those High Templars are just not doing anything, and I'm loving it. There were many, many High Templars that could have easily stormed the main, and I don't think it would have killed any of my units, or I mean a few of them, but... Man, Storm really softens up your units. Okay, let's just go ahead and target Rainer's Command Center, and this is where Dur Duran betrays us. don't show any zerg at all. Maybe you have a technical problem with your equipment. Lieutenant, if these zerg get through, we'll never be able to capture Minsk. I'm giving you a direct order to return to your position and reinforce my troops. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems your signal's fading out. I couldn't make out that last part. I'll try to re-establish contact later. Duran! Captain, your position will be overrun by superior Zerg numbers within 15 minutes. I suggest you retreat back to the fleet immediately. Inform Admiral Dugal that I have a personal matter to take care of. Really? A personal matter? I mean, we could totally destroy this dropship in time. And I don't even know why the warp gate explodes after this. It goes through. Your forces are under attack. I feel like there were many ways to prevent that from happening. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more gaming content. Right, let's go back to the structures there. I love levels that have a lot of colors on it. It just looks so cool at the end. Alright. Until next time, I'll see you then. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye for now.